Three, two, one. Eat what you kill. Hello, Hunt Chef Nation. Today, we've got a dangerously delicious riff on a classical pasta dish using elk, wild forage, hen of the woods mushrooms. We're gonna make some spatzel dough, a little bit of California red wine, two great Hunt Chef seasonings, one of them being a brand new party fowl, and you're not gonna to wanna to miss this one come together. So we're gonna dice up some of this elk backstrap. We've got a beautiful big piece right here, and we want about three quarter inch square dice. You can use bigger, you can use smaller. Look how beautiful that elk backstrap is. Mm. So now we're just gonna go back across it and make ourselves nice diced venison. You can use deer meat, pronghorn, moose, buffalo, anything you want. It can be wild or domestic for this dish. We've got our chunked up elk meat. We've got our Canadian carnivore. Don't be shy with it either. Get it in there, season that elk, or whatever you're cooking. Season it up really well, get it coated all the way around. So we're gonna build some layers of flavor in this pasta, and we've got these forged hen of the woods mushrooms that you can see. These have been washed and then frozen, so they're soft, but they are still holding lots of wild forage flavor. We're just gonna run the knife through them one time and put them in our bowl here. And we just need to add some onion. We've got three cloves of garlic right in the bowl with the mushrooms and onions. Now it's time to mix up some spatzel. So I've just got a little bit of fresh parsley that I want in the dough. So we're gonna mince it up pretty small. That looks pretty good. And there we go. So in our bowl, we're gonna have some flour. That looks good. Now we're gonna season it up with some of my party fowl. This has um, kind of some poultry flavor and smell to it. And seasoning the noodles from the inside out is something that not enough people do. Now we've got some fresh eggs. And I think we're gonna need probably three for this batch. And again, this isn't gonna be dry like a pasta dough. This is gonna be wet. So we may even end up adding, yeah, I think we're gonna need a fourth egg. All right, now, now's when the fun starts. Couldn't be easier, couldn't be simpler. Super rich and flavorful. Look at the color on that stuff right now between the egg yolk and the party file. It's looking really neat. It's gonna show up great and shine right through the sauce. And so you can see it pulling apart, it's sort of wet. I think that is gonna be the ticket right there. All right, now it's really time to get this party started. We've got a hot pan, we're gonna go into some canola oil and a little more than maybe you would anticipate because I wanna make sure that we really get a great sear and brown all the way around this elk. Let's do a test one, see what kind of sizzle we get. Oh, that's what we're looking for right there. All right, so we're gonna brown up all this beautiful elk back strap all the way around, all sides. Looking good. Oh, now that's the kind of caramelization we're looking for right there. That equals flavor. We've got beautiful caramelization all the way around this elk meat. We're gonna set it to the side to rest with that salad oil. Now we've got a super hot pan here, but we're going right back in with a couple of knobs of butter. And as those begin to melt, we're going in with the mushrooms, onions, and the garlic. And we're gonna do the same thing with these guys. So by cooking the different ingredients separately, that allows us to get that great caramelization on the meat without all the liquid leaching out from the mushrooms and the onions and kind of boiling around the meat. So that's why I've done it in two different batches. And then again, the meat searing at a higher temperature using the canola oil versus the vegetables with the butter layers of flavor, bringing it all together.
Oh man. These <laughs> are smelling so good and they're cooked just where I want them. So we're gonna come out of the pan with the mushrooms, onions, garlic back into that bowl. And we are gonna get this pan good and hot. So now we're gonna deglaze with some sherry. Oh yeah. Set it on fire. Mm. Looks awesome. Try it at home, but be careful. So immediately all the alcohol burns off, but we're also gonna go in with some California red wine now. Mm. You know, I love cooking with wine. Sometimes they even put it in the food. Mm. So we wanna let this reduce all the way down so it starts getting good and syrupy. Then we're gonna put in our broth. All right, you can see we've got that syrupy reduction in there with the sherry and the red wine. Now we're gonna go in with the uh, broth. Not too much, we wanna let it, just enough to make it saucy. And we're gonna go back in, the onions, the garlic, the mushrooms, all that in there. And of course, our elk. And we're gonna leave a lot of that canola oil behind, get the meat in there, with all that caramelized flavor. Now we're gonna let this simmer and start to reduce even more, bring all those flavors all together. Then we're gonna finish this dish out. So now it's time to cook our spatzel. I learned to make this probably in 1994 from an Austrian chef when I was working in Florida and he called it spätzle. But this part here is kind of the fun part. Just start pushing it through just like we're in a colander and it's going to make all these little ribbons and little chunks and pieces that are really fun in a dish so we're just going to get most of the water off of it i'm going to come right over here and go right in to the skillet all right so we've got just enough sauce in there all those flavors reduced down concentrated down We've got some sour cream. We're gonna take a big old dollop to finish this out with. We're gonna kill the heat. We're gonna add a knob of butter as well. And we're just gonna stir. And in classical cuisine, this is known as mounting a sauce with the butter and the sour cream. And you don't wanna boil it while you're doing it or after you've added it in or everything will separate the cream the butter, it won't emulsify into the reduction like this is right now. So we're just about there. We're gonna come back away from that hot burner. We've got a bunch of fresh green onions. We're gonna add in, save some for garnish on the top. We've got chopped fresh parsley, thyme, and rosemary going in there. We're gonna stir all this in, check the seasoning, then we're gonna be ready to put this on a plate. So we're ready to get this dish on a plate. We used two great Hunt Chef seasonings today to throw down on some New Mexico elk with the wild mushrooms, the spetzel, the sherry, the red wine, fresh herbs, and that green onion to finish it all off with that sour cream in the sauce. This is fantastic. You're watching Hunt Chef on Mountaintop Outdoors. Remember, always eat what you kill.